Hello my soccer universe to a brief preview of what we can, can expect now uh, for the Aug month of August where it's only Champions League and Europa League. So I changed my background and I'm sorting the shirts now by how likely they are to win. And this part here is the Europa League side, this part is the Champions League side, except I have Napoli here because of the ones that are remaining, these are the least chances and you know, they might move up or whatever. So uh, currently we have also favorite city together with Bayern and PSG, um, PSG, Barcelona, Atleti, Atalanta, Real Madrid according to uh, 538. We also have Juve, which you don't see a little bit over there. It's a little bit ahead of Napoli. And Napoli is the one with the least chances uh, for the Europa League. Uh, yeah, I just completely botched my hold here. Uh, we have United as the favorites, Inter, Sevilla, Roma, and I have the black glass jersey and I'm wearing for the last time this season my Europa League glass jersey for this season, although it has the Champions League because we played in qualification. Yes. So let's get right to it. And I want to actually start with the Europa League because uh, this is the, how, how shall I say it, uh, the more interesting, uh, no, the first part, not the more interesting, it's the first part that we look at. And I want to start where in the round 16 we stand. We have that Bajakshi has a 1-0 lead over Copenhagen. Lask unfortunately lost 5-0 at home to Manchester United. Frankfurt 3-0 at home to Basel. Rampiakos and Wolves 1-1. Leverkusen a 3-1 lead over Rangers. Uh, Schachter 2-1 lead over Wolfsburg. And Sevilla, Roma and Inter Getafe have not been played due to the Corona crisis. So now we have the return legs, which are each played in their respective home stadium, except for the two Inter, Getafe, Sevilla, Roma, which I will get to. So we start on the 5th of August. The two early games are Copenhagen, um, Bajakshi here and Schachter against Wolfsburg. I think Schachter against Wolfsburg. Both of them could be exciting, but uh, Copenhagen, Bajakshi here probably the, is not the marquee ma ma matchup. These were my two teams that I really wanted to play, not United, I want to play one of these two. Uh, Schachter against Wolfsburg, I think that's in interesting, I will of course watch Lask, but I think the one that is really to watch is Inter against Getafe. And Inter against Getafe is played on the 5th of August in the arena of Schalke in Gelsenkirchen. So, uh, big venue, no spectators, kind of boring. Uh, Sevilla Roma is also played on a neutral ground, this time in Duisburg, uh, in the MSV arena. Um, at the same time, Le Leverkusen, not too far from there, is playing against the Rangers at home, and then we have Wolves Olympiakos. I think that's the more interesting one, because Basel, I think, will coast through uh, Eintracht Frank Frankfurt, although Frankfurt, maybe, who knows, but Basel, they just finished the champ 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 championship, so I think they should have even a slight advantage there. And then here we see the lineup for the quarterfinals, where, yeah, it's, I hate to say it, it is United against the winner of Bajak Schier Copenhagen, then Inter, there is a potential Inter Leverkusen matchup, which is already a huge one, because Le Le Leverkusen are big, uh, um, 538 likes them a lot. Schachter, Wolfsburg, Basel, Frankfurt is kind of so and so, and Olympiakos, Wolves, Sevilla, Roma. Yeah, we have to see ever how that will go. Um, just for completeness, uh, how will the semifinals uh, uh, go on? It will be the um, winner of Olympiakos, uh, Wolves, uh, Sevilla, Roma against uh, United. The United uh, part, so potentially an English semi final, but you know, there's also Via and Roma in there, so this could be really interesting. And in the other one, the Inter uh, quartet here would have a nominal home field advantage against the Wolfsburg quartet. Let's keep it like that. Then let's move over to the Champions League. In the Champions League, we had that the round of 16 had also um, some I decided, some, some not the first uh, legs. We had uh, Dortmund beating PSG 2 1, Atletico 1 0 over Liverpool, was a huge uh, Leipzig winning uh, only 1 0 at um, 
Tottenham uh, at the Atalanta had a big showing against Valencia and this was a huge game for the Corona crisis because that kind of spread everything to Spain in a way. Napoli against Barcelona and it won one. I think that was already without spectators as far. Nah, it was not. 1-1, so a uh, slight advantage I think for Barcelona, Bayern with a dominant performance at Chelsea, then Real Madrid losing after 1-0 lead at home to Manchester City 2-1 and Olympique Lyon pulls an upset 1-0 over Juve. And then we had four return legs played before the plug got pulled because that was exactly in the week where uh, it did not happen. Atalanta winning all the away leg, uh, away leg to Valencia. They are moving on. Leipzig B against Spurs. They are move, moving on. PSG turns around against Dortmund 2 0 behind closed doors like um, the Valencia game. Winning 2 0 and then Liverpool winning in regulation 1 0, but after extra time, Atletico Madrid. This was the last big game played be, uh, with spectators, also spreading the coronavirus really nicely all over the place. Um, 3 2 for Atletico Madrid. So we have four that are left to be played, and all are played in where they should have been played. We have two on the 7th of August, Juve Olympique and City against Real Madrid. Um, I think City and Real Madrid is still a match to go. Then Barcelona against Napoli and Bayern against Chelsea. Barcelona, nah, Napoli is probably the standout uh, tie of these. I am also interested if Juve can overcome Lyon. And with that, we have then the qualifiers. We already know that the bracket is kind of the top two. Uh, we'll play against each other in the semifinals in the bottom two. So we uh, have teams that never have won. One of them will make the final. Atalanta PSG is probably the one that I'm really have kind of circled. But you know, there could also be then, I mean, Leipzig, Atletico Madrid. I'm afraid that Leipzig might do some, something and I'm not going to get a Leipzig jersey for that. I said that I'm, I would have had the chance, but if you saw my previous video, I spent my money for this month already on two nice jerseys that are Champions League, League related. I could have gotten a Leipzig one, but I really have a problem getting a Leipzig jersey. Unless it's the Champions League away jersey they have, that's really nice. But yeah, I would hope that Atletico Madrid moves on there. Leipzig without Timo Werner. Come on, Atleti, you can do that. And then, yeah, Barcelona now, Napoli against Bayern. That's a nice matchup. And let's say Juve goes through and whoever they play will also be a nice mad matchup. So they are the big matchups there. And you see these are then played from Wednesday through Saturday next week. I will probably do, uh, for Europa League, I probably will do one video and for Champions League, I might, I don't know if I will, yeah, it's within two days. I might also do it um, all at once then uh, in one video. I think this might work better for me. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know who are your favorites in each competition. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos or playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.